Hello traders and welcome to video one in the stock market swing trading course. In this video, I'm gonna discuss what you're gonna learn in this course, as well as talk a little bit about myself and my background. My name's Corey Mitchell. My website is vantagepointtrading.com. You can always go there to find more trading information and also get in contact with me. What you're gonna learn in this course is how to make money whether stocks go up or down. We're gonna discuss how much trading capital you need to swing trade the methods discussed. And here I have a guideline so that you're not wasting your time. You should have at least $5,000 in your trading account to use these methods, and I'd recommend that you have 10,000 or more. We're gonna look at how to view stock price charts and understand what they're telling you. We're gonna look over some stock market basics such as spreads, market hours, placing orders, the types of orders to use, volume. So if you've never traded in the stock market before, we have a couple videos that are just focusing on the basics to provide you with a background on what you need to know in order to start incorporating the strategies that you're gonna learn. We're gonna use some indicators when we talk about the strategies. I'm not really a big fan of indicators. Indicators are a derivative of the price action. So when we look at a price chart, what an indicator does is interpret and display that price data in a different way. I prefer just focusing on the actual price chart and reading the price action that's there but I am going to show you some indicators which can help you spot some trading opportunities and potentially analyze charts as you're developing your price analysis skills. We're going to look at how prices move up and down and learn how to make trading decisions based on those movements. We're really going to dissect what are the common tendencies in stock price movements which then tell us whether we should be buying, whether we should be selling, where we should be getting out of our trades, where we should be getting into our trades. We're gonna look at controlling risk and taking profits using different order types, as well as the common tendencies in the stocks we're trading. We also wanna look at what type of stocks we should be trading so that we don't waste our time or money or end up taking on excessive risk. Some stocks are more in a gambling arena and those aren't the type of stocks we wanna trade. We wanna trade stocks that have common patterns that continue to play out over and over again as opposed to trading these some types of stocks which are just don't really adhere to those common tendencies and are much more uh, of a gambling arena. So we want to avoid those. So those are going to be discussed. Then we're going to look at two strategies that suit various market conditions, reversals and trends. Reversals and trends are always occurring. Trends are in play most of the time in the stocks that we're looking at. And when they're not in play, we're typically gonna have a reversal. So most of our trades are gonna be these trend trades and occasionally we'll experience a reversal. These strategies work really good together because since you're gonna be in trend trades most of the time, also being able to know when reversals are happening or when they could occur will really help you in assessing which one of these trend trades to take. So these two strategies work very well together and will typically always provide you with trading opportunities each week and each month. And on the off chance that there is no opportunities, we simply don't trade. So if we can't find any opportunities, we're gonna save our capital and save it for a time when we do see the opportunities, which should be quite regularly. Then we're gonna find trades that suit these strategies. So I'm gonna show you how to find stocks suited to the strategies we're using. This is a little bit different than how most people or most amateurs trade the stock market. They get one stock in their head and decide that's the stock they want to trade and then try to find some strategy that suits that particular stock. That's a very inconsistent approach to trading because if we always use the same strategy, we can analyze that strategy, see how it performs in different conditions, 
really fine tune that strategy. So focusing on a strategy first and then finding stocks that suit it is a much better approach than trying to trade some random stock and then always trying to find some new way to trade it. We're going to establish how to take a proper position size. You can have a great trade, but you could end up risking too much if your position size is too big, or you may not fully take advantage of it if your position size is too small. So we're going to discuss how to take the proper position size for every single trade so that you find that balance between managing risk and taking advantage of that opportunity. We're going to cover where to place our orders for our strategies, entries, stop losses, which control our risk, targets, which get us out of get us out of profitable trades. And these are all basic concepts behind nearly every strategy I use. So you can use these concepts to create your own strategies if you so choose down the road. As mentioned, these reversal and trend strategies, the two strategies we're going to cover, will give you ample trading opportunities each week and each month. So there's not it's not necessary for you to learn any more than what we're going to cover in this course. But I know that some people are like sponges. They just want to absorb more and more and learn more and more. So if you do decide that you want to add some strategies to your arsenal, the concepts you will learn in this course will definitely help you build a framework for building those new strategies in the future. We're going to look at how earnings affect stocks and when we should be trading in stocks and when we should not be. We're also going to look at whether fundamental data matters to our swing trading and hint no. This is not a fundamental swing trading course, which is when we're looking at the profitability of companies, their accounting statements. This is a technical analysis course where we're simply looking at the price charts and it's traders that push prices up and down based on their buying and selling. So we're looking at that to assess where that movement is likely to take the price in the future and basing our trading decisions on that. And we're going to show patterns that continue to play out over and over again as we look at those strategies. And those patterns are just based on the typical tendencies of buying and selling. So we don't need the fundamental data. We're just going to focus on our price charts and try to keep it as simple and efficient as possible. You may notice I've included lots of information on each slide. And this is done on purpose so that when you rewatch a video, if you have to rewatch a video, you can easily just scroll through and find the slide with the information you're looking for. This I thought would be an easier approach than just putting a tiny bit of information on each slide and then it's much more difficult if you have to rewatch a video at a certain point to try to find that information again. So I've tried to keep minimal slides in each video and include a fair bit of information on each one and I thought this would be the best format for this type of course. And this is the type of format the course will follow. Basically PowerPoint slides with information on them. I will add information to the points as we go through and then in the actual training videos we'll go back and forth between PowerPoint and showing you what I'm talking about in terms of the price charts, finding the information that we're talking about. So I'll provide extra information as we go through in addition to just these basic PowerPoints. The course can be summarized in learning how to spot trades, how to practice trading the setups that we're going to learn or trading the strategies that we're going to learn. We're going to look at entries, stop losses, targets, analysis, and I provide exercises at the end of each video to help you really learn all the topics that are discussed in each video. We're also going to discuss when it's time to switch to real capital. So our, progr our progression is to go through the videos, 
learn the strategies, learn all the information, then start incorporating that in trading a demo account, doing the exercises, then as you do the exercises and start seeing a profit in the demo account, which is just trading simulated money, then we're going to discuss when it's time for you to make the switch to real capital, when you're ready. And ultimately, the process, once you've learned the strategies, is to only take about 20 minutes a day to find your trades and place your trades. And 20 minutes a day doesn't actually even mean every day. Typically, you're only going to have to put in about 20 minutes once or twice a week to find a couple trades. Once you're in a trade, that trade should last a couple weeks to a couple months. And you should be able to find, should be able to take about three or four trades at a time. So once you found your three or four trades, there's not much to do. You sit back and you don't have much to do except wait for those trades to complete. And once they do, then you can start looking for more trades. So this is a very time efficient way to trade. We, not, we aren't gonna require uh, loads of time for these strategies, which I think is quite nice. While you're learning the strategies, of course, it's going to take a couple hours to watch some of the videos. Then going through the exercises is also going to take a few hours. So at the beginning, as you're going to, as you're learning the strategies, you're definitely going to need more of a time investment. But once you know the strategies, this method of trading does not take very long at all. A little bit about myself. My name's Corey Mitchell. I am a chartered market technician. That is a designation for technical analysis and trading. On that note, I get asked quite a bit by people, should I get a designation? Will it help my trading? And my answer is this. Designations, they're going to provide you with a lot of information on the stock market and different people's method for trading. That can be very good if you want to do some of the things that I do, like write or work for an institutional firm, which I did for a number of years. But if you're just looking to trade from home, the designations may actually give you too much information. A trader's only job is to implement one or two strategies that work over and over again. There's no real need for to know everything about the stock market or everything about all the methods that people use because really you only need one or two methods. So designations are very good if you want information and maybe if you want to add some credibility to your resume, if you want to work for a bank or an institution. If you just want to be trading at home, a designation isn't required to make money. All you need is a couple strategies like we're covering in this course and repeat those strategies over and over again until you start to see the profitability. That said, if you do just want to learn more about the stock market, the designations are fine, just not required. I've been a trader since 2005. I was an institutional prop trader for six years. And what that basically means is my company gave me money and my only task was to turn that money into more money so make a profit. My only income was based on my performance. I didn't have a salary, so it was a totally, every cent I made was dependent on my own uh, ability to make money in the stock market. And if I didn't make money, I didn't get paid anything. After six years, I went on to trade independently and I trade stocks, Forex, futures since 2011 and I still have that same goal. My goal is still to trade my capital and make more money as well as teach others how to do it. I'm a member of the Market Technicians Association, Canadian Society of Technical and Analysts and by extension the International Federation of Technical Analysts. I write for a host of uh, high quality financial publications, including Avestopedia. I'm the day trading expert at The Balance and have written some articles for Stock and Commodities magazine. Again, this all sounds nice, but it's kind of like the designation. None of this stuff is necessarily required in order to simply trade the stock market. So there's a lot of extra stuff uh, going on here, but 
if you just want to trade, as mentioned, you don't need to know everything about the stock market. You don't need to read every single one of my articles. In fact, you just want to focus on some simple concepts like what are covered in this video. A couple strategies that you can implement over and over again. And that's all you need to be a trader, as I said. I'm also the founder of VantagePointTrading.com. You can always get in contact with me using that site. And there's my email address, Corey Mitchell or Corey at VantagePointTrading.com. So you can contact me there if you have questions throughout the course. The next video is going to go into how to get the most out of this course. It's not just about watching videos and saying, all right, I know that now. We really have to engage ourselves in the process. As I discussed, each video has exercises that we want to complete. We also want to go through a process of practicing the trades in a demo account before we start risking real capital. So in the next video, I'm going to really show you how to maximize this course to get the most out of it by engaging yourself in the learning process. Until then, happy trading.